What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back, back on um, MLB the show, uh, Diamond Dynasty video. Um, guys, don't worry, we're still posting MLB. We're not signing away from it. We're gonna post some Madden. We're probably gonna post some 2K when that comes out too. Testing out all fields, guys. As per usual, 10K in the comments, 100 likes on the vid, and somebody will win 10K. Anybody could win it in the comments. So make sure you sub down below. Posting every single day, MLB, Madden content every single day. But anyways, guys, we're going to go over the market as per usual. Um, as you know, my packs actually went very well yesterday. And here we go. We're going to talk about the market, how to make some stubs, and all that good stuff. So right off the bat, something I noticed, something I was hyped about, considering I've been holding. I held this dude for so long, and finally, we're going to make some stubs. And where is it? Monthly awards. So... What I realized today. So, my Hector Nearest is at 61k. Would this day ever come? I never thought it would. And today, we're going to make some stubs. So, what I realized is that a ton of these Player of the Month cards went up. As you can see, the Dietrich is very expensive. Um, Hendricks went up. Uh, Anderson's actually very cheap. Lance Lynn is a ton right now. If you guys picked him up, he was like 30k. If you picked him up, you're lit. You're going to make a ton of stubs. I might invest in a DJ LeMay who considers that not that many in um, the game. But anyways, guys, let's talk about how to make some stubs, what to do with your coins, what to do with your stubs, and all that good stuff. So right now, what I'm going to tell you is, so since I have these SIG packs out, um, the market actually didn't crash as much as I thought it would. Only thing that really crashed, I would say is um some of these what's it called cards the live series cards did drop a little bit let's see chris sale yeah chris sales 36k so what i realized is nothing really went up a lot i mean okay so the legends actually did go down a little bit but all these sig cards went down a little bit as well but here's the catch with them if you pulled them i would wait because they're in packs so what I'm saying is, they're probably going to drop a stub sale next week or the week after. With that said, um, you could pick up players right now. Since they're kind of cheap, you could pick up your team again. You could go ahead and go buy as many cards as you want because I believe that there's a stub sale coming soon considering the market is a little bit crashed. Um, prices did rise a little bit from yesterday. And if you have this Bob Feller, the Lou Gehrig, all the, 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 all the 99 overalls and stuff in the SIG packs, just hold on to them. Wait for a stub sale. Get some game playing with them. As you know, I did pull the 99 Bob Feller. I did get him. He's right there. Look at that pull. Um, we pulled him. And what I'm doing right now is I'm just considering... Uh, I'm just selling some of my players. And I'm trying to pick up some of these dudes over here. Some of the SIG cards. Um, I'll probably be investing a lot in the SIG cards. Especially, I want to get some gameplay in with the new 96 Henley Ramirez. Uh, we're probably streaming Sunday, either Madden or MLB, maybe even both. So pull up to the stream on Sunday, not Saturday, Sunday. Um, so yeah, guys, today is a good day, and let's make some stubs, baby. So we're going to invest in this Hanley Ramirez for 53K right now. Hopefully he does not go down. Hopefully he stays where he is. Oh, wait, we got... Oh, whoops. So yeah, uh, we made a ton of stubs, actually off these cards let's see hold up 53009 all right so let's look into the auction let's see what we got my active so if this sells if all this sells we will have a ton of stubs this would be awesome we're selling goalie and nearest that's mad stubs plus we have the feller plus we pulled the grom yesterday yesterday's pack opening was beautiful if you want to see more packs make sure to smash that like button 100 likes on this vid will also do a huge ass pack opening maybe two bundles so be sure to drop the like button Anyways, so, so this is what I'm seeing right now. With a stub sale probably coming soon, we're going to go over the, the what's it called cards. I, I can't even speak right now. Um, The live series cards, we're going to go over them. And I'm noticing that they did drop a lot. They have a Matt Harvey 91, and I didn't know about this. Oh, my goodness. He's getting bought. Yep. Um, so let's go over all the live series cards. I'm going to tell you what to do if you have them, if you don't, whatever. I'm going to go over all these live series cards. So right now, Yelich is down a lot. He's about 10K down. Scherzer's down. One person I saw is down a lot is Chris Sale, and I will try to be snagging him. Good investment right there. 
especially since he's going to probably do amazing the rest of the season. It's Chris Sale. Freddie Freeman's down a ton. Bregman's down a ton. Doug Rom's down about 5K. Machado's down a lot. Um, Camley Jansen's down a lot. This is the perfect time to invest. This is when you want to get all your investments for roster update next week. Um, as you can see, Verlander's 13K, one of the best pitchers in the league. Possibly Cy Young. I'll roll this Chapman's actually kind of the same. Ch uh, Okuna's down. Kluber's around the same. Baez is very cheap. For 16K, you should go pick up a Baez. 10K for Altuve. He's been tearing it up as of late. I'm going to pick up Altuve right now for some for 10K, man. That's a very good price for Altuve. Definitely going to get some gameplay with him, too. Uh, Chris Bryant at 14K. Do we still have? We only have one left. Charlie Morton just went diamond. We have none of him. Um, let's see. So, with the roster update coming this week, or next week, I should say, we have to invest. And I'm going to tell you right now. Uh, let's check Story's price. And let's check um, Ryu's price. So, right now, I have 10 Stories. I sold most of mine. When I told you guys to sell my about he was 4500 I was like, yo, guys, he's going to go diamond, invest in him. So right now, I'm going to invest all my stories now again, and I'm going to try to make a ton of stubs. I already made a ton of stubs off him already because he was 4K, 4,500 coins. I sold literally 15, and I made a ton of stubs when I got him for 2K to 1K. In the beginning of the game, I held him all year, and he's probably a top candidate to go diamond uh, at this roster update. Considering last roster update, he should have went diamond. And as well as Hyun Jin Ryu, I think that's how you say his name, probably botched it. But 3,400, if he goes to a diamond and you quick sell him for 5, you'll make a clean 1,500 stubs. So 1,500 stubs times 10 is 15K. If you get 10 of these, you spend 30K and you get 10, you get 15,000 stubs. So if you listen to bugs, you're going to make the stubs. If you don't, it's, it's your fault. So this is also what I want to talk about. So let's say you don't think they're going to go diamond, right? Either way, all the 84s go up in price before the roster update, especially if they're doing good in real life. So, um, the easiest way to make stubs off this is on Thursday or Friday, you could cash out just in case you don't think they're going to go diamond and they're going to make stubs no matter what. So, buy your stories now. 2,900 stubs. You cannot go wrong. He's probably going to go diamond. He's a beast. It's Trevor Story. He has dingers. He has speed. Even if he goes diamonds, he's going to be the mo one of the most playable low overall diamonds in the game with the power, the speed, and the fielding. His vision's not the best. But listen, if you're running a budget team and you need 20, you could run him as an 84, but to see that diamond go to the team is always better. Also, I actually want to check out Blake Sell Snats because he's still an 84, and it's honestly kind of confusing why. I'm pretty sure Blake Snell is doing good. He did just get hurt, actually. Yeah, he just had a win against the Red Sox with two, 10 strikeouts and no earn. Six innings pitched, win. He hasn't done bad. It's kind of confusing. I mean... He got downgraded because he had two games with seven earned runs, which is a big L. But ever since then, he's kind of rebounded. But then again, he just got hurt for four weeks. So he's probably not going to go diamond. Aaron Knowles is a possibility. Granky's actually a good buy at 2,800. Zach Granky has proved himself this year. Very good buy. Um, would highly recommend buying him. But yeah, guys, this is the time to invest. Go buy whatever you want. And also, a big player to invest in right now is Jose Ramirez. Dude, if you guys remember in the beginning of the game, he was around 40 to 50K. He actually is tearing it up right now. I'm so excited because I'm a big fan of him. He really proved himself last year. And his hard um, hard hit contact rate is very high. It screams that he's going to break out the second half. And he actually already did so far. So I will be investing probably 50K into him. I think he's going to go diamond again. He deserves it. He's a beast. He's a very good player. Just got very unlucky in the first half, and I really believe he will be a very good investment. As well as Brad Hand, I know he did blow last save, but he's still playing very well. Brad Hand is one of the best closers in the league still. He did blow a save. He's still a pretty good investment at 1,300 stubs. I have 27. Um, that blown save, people think he's not going to go diamond. Let's see how he does the rest of the week. If he does good the whole rest of the week, we are gonna, um, we're going to be lit, and we're going to make a ton of stubs. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed um i really hope you enjoyed the vid to make stubs just go ahead and invest all these live cards are the investments you want if you have your nearest and you have the d trick go ahead and sell them you're not going to see it more expensive as that especially if you've been waiting on that nearest and d trick like i have been you'll make a ton of stubs like bugs anyways guys i hope you enjoyed stay tuned for some madden content right after this vid stay tuned for some streams i hope you had a good one peace
Oh, oh.